This is my little Slovia 618 and today I've just got myself a, a new spring Titan XS main spring it, it was quite hard to get a, a main spring for the Slovia but the one that does fit is for the Wire Rock HW45 it's a pistol but the spring was more than big enough the original spring in the in the little Slavia there was 17 centimetres this new Titan XS spring was 23 centimetres and they had the right dimensions, the thickness of the coil, the, the inner dimensions, outer dimensions I think it's 16 outer and 12 inner millimetres for the, for the dimensions of the spring <coughs> I had to cut three coils off the spring but the original spring was really weak, it was old as the hills, really old, pathetically old, and it was all warped and bent and everything when I bought it out, out of the gun. So what I'm going to do is just see what the difference of the power from the new spring on Because these are supposed to be a, a good spring. Paid £21, bag on Kirkwood, bit, and it's actually delivered, same day, I ordered it this morning off the internet and take time, the bloke knocked at the door and says oh I was passing through, here's your spring which was brilliant really, instead of waiting a few days in the post so, uh, the next part of this is going to be I'm going to be shooting into a candle because I've already used this gun with the old spring and shooting into the candle and it didn't do a lot of damage, just small dints so what I'm going to do is test them pellets shooting into the candle with the new spring in. Right, so the first shot I'm going to be taking will be with the Super Hollow Point RWS and I'm going to take that now. Well, that pellet bounced back and hit me. You can see the bits of oil there where when I put the gun together <laughs> barrel smoking I greased everything up when I put the new spring in this next shot's going to be with a super point Let's see if that one sticks in it might need working in a little bit the new spring where the piston one is just greasing it all up and that just not too sure but I'll take these shots anyways I'm using the super point now spot as well Flanders. the next one is going to be with a little gamma round it's quite an accurate little gun nearly hit the same spot twice I'll have to get my bucket so I'm bound to hit the same hole it's in there I'm not sure about these gamma rounds <coughs> both of them, well, all three of them, and none of them stuck in really but I wasn't expecting it with this little gun, but it's still done a little bit of damage, it's not too bad because they're only rated at about 350 feet per second it probably needs a new piston, if anything but there's the damaged pellets um, the, the point of one, it flattened no, that was the hollow point, I should say, it's flattened and the, the super point that one's flattened a little gamma round, not really much damage on that they're a very slack fit, them gamma rounds not really worth using I can't see them being very accurate. Well, that's the new spring, anyways. The, the pellet it is a bit stronger than what it used to do because it it hardly 
the previous spring hardly even dented. You can see that small dent there. That was the damage what the previous spring used to do. And now it's making dents a little bit bigger. But really, if anything, it needs a new piston. It might need greasing, like oiling in properly and stuff like that. But anyways, that's not too bad. I'm pleased with that. 